Hi, Emmanuel here with T2S, Transform to Succeed. This video is a sample class, a sample of what we uh, provide or offer as, uh, as, as our class sessions. We will continue from what we left. Uh, is, uh, what we talked about in the previous video was uh, uh, change command as well as password command and we also played using those two commands in this video we'll begin looking so we'll continue looking at the, the user management but this time we'll uh, talk about talk about uh, we're gonna begin with the user mode command so i'm gonna take you to my note my notes here so we'll, we'll begin with the user mode command and then we'll build on this as we continue talking about the user management on a linux system so the user mode command is to modify a user's account and every time you modify a user's account you affect uh, one or more one of the files or more uh, the files that include ET password, ET group, ET G shadow, and ET shadow. Here we have the options that come with the user mode command. And the options include we have the we have the uppercase L here. Uppercase L. So I'm gonna uh, sorry about that. So you have the uppercase uh, option here, which is to lock uh, an account. And then you have the uppercase U, which means to, to unlock, which you use, you apply this option to the command here to, uh, uh, to I'm gonna move that better. To make those changes and that's pretty much what you need to know about the user mode uh, command and you can add more but these are kind of like the key options that you can use let's look at the at something here quickly so I'm gonna take you to the command line and on the command line what we have to do we first we are uh, going to uh, we are going to get the current you know uh, password information for user 20 from the shadow file the shadow the etc shadow file is the file where you store where you store uh, information about the password of a given user so the user mode as I said it's to modify and that's what we're going to use here so i'm trying to get to my notes the notes that you have uh, uh, displayed here that's what i have on my uh, notebook so part of my the classes that i teach what i do uh, we use sometimes i use uh, you know a lot of times i use a notepad to uh, help my students uh, get a better sense of what we what the concepts that we cover as, uh, as as part of of our training here at T2S. So how do we how do we get how do we get uh, a password? So I'm gonna go to my terminal here. So I show you what we do. So what we do we uh, usually you know. Uh, prefer becoming root and you use the su command to do that so now that i'm root so i'm gonna check on user 20 and i've done this uh in previous videos but primarily using et shadow uh, et password instead so when you do the et shadow you try that which means that probably user 20 does not exist so let's see well, password if it's it's not there 
So if we try this, for, I, I think I struggled with this uh, in the previous video, trying to add it, and it says user add group user exists. So let me see. Let me see if I can delete that group. So I'm going to delete group, this group here. And then I'll try to add user 20 and see if it's going to create. Now it exists because every time you use the user add command to add a new user and you don't specify the group where you want to assign this new user, then the system by default, it's going to gonna use the login name of this user like in this case user 20 and and make a group where this user will reside and that's why we have this here so for some reason the user 20 group already exists and every time you do this you do not specify a group where you want to assign this specific user the system, the system will use this login name and create a new group, and that's why the system will assign this uh, specific user. And and I decided to delete it. And now after delete de deleting, you know, to delete a group, use group del command. So I deleted the group, and and now I can add the group, and it's okay. So meaning that the system, if if you do this. If you grab that from ET password, you see, so now the system, the system assigned the, the login name, it assigned user 20 as, as, uh, as a group where this user will belong. So let, let, let me try tail. I'm going to try this. You, you see. So that's kind of like the same. So if you do grab, do you do that? You use tail, tail command. It, it's gonna display the last line of the content that you find on this specific file. So I'm gonna clear the screen. So now we've done that. Uh, let's go back to our command here. The command that we were looking at. So that would be grab. We're gonna grab user 20 from this file. And remember the shadow file is the file where information about the password of a user uh, resides. So I do that. So you see, so we we have grabbed this and 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 we have the encryption here encrypted like like the password. The, the encrypted password so it's here so we ca cannot tell or well, actually we have this because uh this uh, specific user doesn't have a password so i'm gonna assign user 20 a password okay so now so try to use the same command here it's going to be different, right? So when you have the exclamation marks in the second field on the ET shadow, it means that that specific user doesn't have a password assigned. So now you have this password assigned to, uh, the, the, to, to user 20. So you have, you have assigned a password. This is an encrypted password. Remember that. It's not what I typed in. This is what the system generates to, to, to encrypt the, the password. Okay, so we're done with that. Uh, task number one, right? So now let's go to task number two. Lock the amount, uh, the account for user 20. How do we, how do, we do that? So to do that, you use user mode, and then we're going to lock using the uppercase L, and then we apply that to the specific user. So user mode, 
account has been locked. The, the other way that you can do it is using the password uh, command, remember? But in this case, it's going to be lower uh, case L. You know, so we, we you can use password command to lock the account. And next, what we're going to do, we're going to now verify. And how do we verify? To verify, you use the command grab user 20, the command that we have used before. So we're going to go to the shadow and then we verify. And this is to verify that user account has been uh, locked. So we do that. And, and now, uh, if we want to unlock the account, to unlock the account, what we do is to you can either user use the user mode uh, uppercase u user 20 the account has been unlocked or you can use the password uh, command lowercase u and same thing so you have unlocked the account the user 20 account and next when i get some water here and next what you have to do what you were gonna do is uh yeah you you, you need to verify always verify so you you you, you verify and uh, that this is what you have so i'm gonna clear the screen and uh, the next section of our class, I'm going to introduce you to uh, uh, Linux groups uh, management. So the, I told you uh, in the previous video and in this video that every time you deal with user account management, you're, you're focusing primarily on four files you're talking about ET password ET shadow ET group and ETG shadow so the default uh, the default policies for groups and then for uh, w when you talk about uh, groups management you're talking about two, two files here you're talking about uh, ET group and and also you're talking about uh, it, uh, it's a G shadow when it comes to policies for groups you 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 find all of those in in the et see here in the et login dot devs uh, configuration file but if everything about groups it's stored uh, in et group Group administration, administrator information, plus group level uh, passwords, it's stored here. So these are the files that you pay attention to every time you're dealing with groups. And the commands, the key commands that we use, it's like for the case of users, we do, we use user add. But the, in the case of groups, we use group add. The uh, case of uh, modifying or manipulating uh, users' accounts, you use uh, user mode. But for groups, you use group mode. And to delete, group del. For users, it's user del. So that's uh, kind of like the difference. It, 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 it's the same thing. Add, modify, and delete. So that's what you keep in mind. The options you have the the G here, which address the group ID, and then you have the O dash O to uh, create a group with a matching GID 
GID, which you don't use a lot. But sometimes uh, in a company, the, may, may, your manager may require that, may ask you to do that. And the dash R, it's to create a system group with a GID uh, below 1000. So the command group add, group add picks up default values from the login devs file. And a group mode to modify attributes of a group. Like the user mode, it's to modify attributes of a user. And group del, it's to remove entries for a given group from both group and G shadow files. The same with user del. Now I'm gonna jump onto uh, our command line and then we'll work on this project. So we're gonna work on this project. We have a, about uh, just uh, this project and then we'll be, we should be done. We have a couple of projects. Then I'll talk a little bit about the substituting user users. That's the SU command that I've been using. And that will be the end of this video. So I'm gonna go a little bit fast here. So this is what we have. We, 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 we want to create a group and, and then we wanna add members to the specific group. So number one, what we do, uh, what we need to do is to use the group add command. So I'm gonna do the dash G, meaning that I'm adding a group and assigning this uh, group ID and the group I will call it add, add ADM Linux. So they're saying the group already exists, but I can, I cannot, uh, actually I can delete this just to show you how you can delete uh, a group. Okay, that, that group doesn't exist, but the group ID does exist so if we do group add g and then i'm gonna do let's do seven thousand let's do eight thousand and then we're gonna give the, that to this new group and that's what you have done and you can uh, let's say we want to create a group and and then we will call it DevOps with the same I, uh, I, uh, the same group ID, like this one here. So we're gonna use the option O and then G. Then we're gonna apply 8,000 and we'll call this group DevOps. And that's been added. And to verify, you just use this command here. Remember this, is, we're deal dealing with groups and every time you're dealing with groups you go to the et group so i've done that uh, so why is it not appearing so let me let me try also this one here okay that one appeared so group add you know, DevOps uh, appear here. So let, let, let me see, I don't know why that one doesn't appear. So I'll try to add it again. Group add G. I'm gonna do O, G. Uh, 8,000 go bad okay so if you grab it to see if it now it does exist so uh, we have added these groups these two groups DevOps and uh, ADM Linux and they both have the same GID so next we want to add a user so we're gonna add a user 
we're gonna add a user uh, 10 as a secondary member of group DevOps using user mode command. The existing membership for the user must remain intact. So what we do here, first of all, I need to make sure that user 10 does exist, right? So if it, it uh, doesn't exist, then I have to create. So you see here, so user 10, uh, the group ID, it's this one here, and this is the UID. The, the group uh, the, this is the user ID and the group ID it's the same by default when you you, you don't assign those the, then the system will assign will take care of that for you and to do to change that so I'm gonna do uh, user mode AG and then we want to add it to the DevOps uh, group and uh, the account that we want to add it's user 10 so we're gonna enter and if you do the command here so we have added this to the group no, no not the other command so we're gonna do the grab uh, DevOps here from the ET group and you're gonna see here now we have user 10 belong to this group so that's how you do it and you can also verify using id the id command user 10 see here you see user and then G, the gid and then the groups where the user belong belongs uh, so user 10 adm Linux. Hmm. So that's probably a spelling. It should be a U. So you can do that, or you can also do groups user 10 to say what groups user 10 belongs to. Why is it that it doesn't show that it belongs to DevOps? But here it does. Yeah, that's, that's kind of like interesting. Let's keep moving here and then we'll try to figure out what to do. So next, what we need to do here, uh, what we need to do here, let me try to see if I can change this user 10. And then if I ID user 10, So you can see the groups where it belongs, uh, 8,000. And then you see that's the, the default group that the system assigns a user once you create it. And so I'm gonna move to the next section here. So the next section, we're gonna modify and delete a group account. And how do we do that? To do that, uh, we're gonna use the group mod to modify and then you have the n and adm sys uh, we're gonna what we're gonna do here we're gonna uh, alter the name of uh, adm linux meaning that we replace we change it we change this name adm linux to uh, adm sys so i press enter and uh, and you can verify um, ADM Linux will not exist anymore in the ETC group. So that's what why the uh, the, the the outcome was uh, empty. And then if you do the ADM ADM sys from ETC group, see it's there. So it's like giving a new name to it. So next, 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 we need to change the group ID of ADM sys to 7000. And to do that, you use the group mod. Uh, then you do the G, you wanna apply 7000 ADM sys. So it's saying the group ID already exists. And uh, 
so let's just assign something else we're gonna assign seven thousand five ADM sys and then if you verify the you see so we've changed from eight thousand to seven thousand and five next we uh, need to delete ADM sys and to delete you use the command group del ADM sys uh, spelling you always watch your spelling group del ADM sys that's been deleted if you grab from the itsy group it, it will say it, it will give you nothing meaning that this group no longer exists the next i'm gonna take you to the next section here the next session section is uh i mean you you've seen me you have seen me use uh use this command here su su command uh, means to substitute user uh, users it's uh it, it's like switching users so in Linux, always uh, you always sign in as a normal uh, user, and 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 wh when I talk about a normal user, I'm talking about this. I'm talking about this prompt here. It means that I am a normal user, but normal users have so limited access or privileges, access or privileges to the system. And the reason is to secure the overall system functionality and to prevent an unexpected an, an uh, human error. Because that, that, that happens a lot uh, uh, in, in, in the IT field. I mean, in any field, actually. So when, we, when do we need then? When do we need to uh, substitute users? Uh, what, what, when do we need to substitute user? The, 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 the reason, uh, uh, it could be several reasons, but, but we come down to these two here. Uh, number one, to assume identity of a different user. And number two, to execute a command that requires elevated privileges. So substituting, substituting or switching users uh, we use the command as I showed you, SU. So like you can switch users to become, substitute users to become user 10, user 20, or even to become root. And when you wanna become root, you only use the SU uh, space and then dash. So you're switching into becoming root. And you can verify who you are by using the command who am I or log name. So when you do uh, switch user dash C uh, firewall D command and, and uh, you, you, you know what, what I'm talking about, it's this thing here. So this is to run a command as a different user without switching into becoming that specific user. And that's why you use the option dash C. And next is that doing as super user or substitute user so this is what they what we call in linux a uh, super doer that's sudo it's the sudo command and uh, linux operating systems they provide normal users the ability to run uh, 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 execute privileged uh, privileged commands and and also to access non owing uh, non uh, owning uh, files without knowledge of the root password but for for you for someone to assume uh, uh, super doer power or i would say <laughs> to become super doer they have to be added to this file here so anything that has to do with uh, switching users or even sudo sudo uh, super door it, it addresses this file 
you have to configure the file it is sudo -ers. so that's what you have to keep in mind and you you can also find this in the this directory and some people can use this command here the vi sudo to create a copy of the file as sudoers dot temp and then applies the changes uh, there and that's for i mean this this helps to uh, uh you know prevent multiple users to edit the file simultaneously uh, simultaneously and so the syntax and what, what this is what you do when you get into onto the itsy sudoers so you look you, you you modify this is the 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 syntax so you have the user here and then you add this and then you can sudo head like to uh if you want to display you want to display like the uh, last or the first 10 lines uh, of this file this is what you do and let's say you want user 10 to and and devops group not to be prompted to enter password every time they use the sudo command then you have to modify again the file and and make it appear this way so you have a user and then you have the group here so you want to need to add this section this here meaning no password required so they will just do sudo in and then as they, they get to do to execute whatever commands they need to execute you can limit access of a user or a group to single commands Let, let's say uh the, you, you you do not want user 10 and user and, and group uh the devops to uh to run the command cat so what you do you go to the same file etc sudoers and you are going to modify the file to reflect this uh, syntax here and and these are the things that you can also do like you can modify look you can assign one rule to allow a group of users to access to a group of commands like you can say okay so uh we want a group uh not to i mean they will never download or install anything on this system so you create first uh, an alias and this is the command see here the package command that they cannot you you, you want to restrict them from using these uh commands and this is the the list of uh, the ali alias for uh so you're setting variables variables here so you you make sure that these are the group of users that cannot perform these uh, actions here they cannot install anything and and then uh this is uh and now you apply this say all to this to so see this and that so these are you set variables here like alias aliases and then this is the this is the rule that you set so you 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 do that now owning user and owning group uh here you every file and directory has directory has an owner so this is what you have to keep in mind when it comes to linux but by default the creator assumes ownership the creator assumes ownership of the file that they just created 
and you can verify. So first you touch this, and then when you long list this, you, you're gonna see that the user 10 is the owner of this file. And when you do the dash LN, you're gonna display the corresponding UID, GID of file 10 instead of the owner's name and group's name. And I'll, I'll show that uh, in a moment. So here we have a project and we'll work on that project quickly and then we'll be done. Okay, so let's, uh, let's work on that project. So on this project, what we're gonna do, we will uh, kind of like uh, just practice what we've, we've talked about here. So we have uh, we have change. We're gonna have to uh, first of all uh, let's see become let's let's see we're gonna become user ten. We're gonna log in and we will become user ten. We use the switch users. We're gonna become user ten. Then we're gonna enter the password gonna clear the screen and then once we clear we're gonna go to the tab P here and then we're gonna touch file one and then we're also gonna create a directory call it D1 that's done so now to verify we're gonna verify first the file now we're gonna verify file one we want to use the ln here we just talked about that uh, and then we're gonna verify uh, you know so it specifies only the, the user ID and the group ID so if you do this it's gonna give you the name of the user and the name of the group that owns on the, the file so we're gonna do the same here for D1 and uh, sorry D1 so you see it's the same so you have the user the owner and group that also owns the, the file so now we want to change ownership uh, we want to change ownership of uh, ownership to user 10 and verify in our case we're gonna change ownership to user uh, to user 20 so I'm gonna exit I'm gonna become user 20 let's, let's try that and see user 20 so we have become user 20 we're gonna go uh, let's see if we can do this like to own user uh, so here I'm gonna I'm gonna see if, if this would work we're gonna sudo to own user 20 so we're gonna give it a try and and, and change uh, so we'll probably need to go into that directory and then here we change now user 20 file 1 so that's done and if we ls file one you see now it has changed here so the user has become user 20 but the group is still user 10 so now i want to change the group and to change the group from user 20 to devops uh, to devops 
I will use the same command here. I'm gonna do sudo to own user uh, sudo to group to group uh, grp to group. Then I'm gonna say DevOps and then the file here. And if you ls the file. So you see, so we have changed user 20 to ADM Linux. And this is because, remember, we substitute the name of DevOps to this. And that's why it, it, it's happening this way. Uh, but, but at least you get an idea. So you use the sudo chew group. And then this is the name. And file so we can try with a different name here to rp let's say adm linux file one because uh, that group doesn't exist uh, but we have the other group so let me let, 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 let me say let, let me try grab uh, let me let me try to Add, uh, let's say three ET group here. So I have that. Uh, I'll just cat. Let me cat and see what groups we have here. So we have DevOps here. And then you know, DevOps, they have the group, the same group. Well, let's see one here. So it can be, uh, it can interchange. And and we have the other group. Let, let's use the uh, CGRP. So I'm gonna clear the screen and I'm gonna try again here to assign a new group to uh, to replace the uh, to become uh, uh, to 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 assign the fi uh, file one to a different group. And I'm gonna use uh, yeah, I don't remember the group that I wanted to use. So I need to write it down. Sorry about that. So it's going to be CGRP. So I'm going to CGRP. So I'm going to uh, do the CGRP here. So it's going to be CGRP. I don't want to forget CGRP. All right. So that's done. And if you LS file one, you see the group has changed. So we changed the user, the owner. And then the group also. So that's uh, just kind of like the project uh, uh, task number four. So now task number five to finish. Uh, let's uh, set ownership. We're going to set the ownership to user 20 and then owning group to user 10 and verify. To do that, what you do is just uh, the ownership you always show to own. So we're gonna uh, uh, change that from user 20 back to user 10. And then this, this is the file. Uh, and, uh, and then if you verify, and that's it. So you see we've changed the, the owner to user 10. What have we done here? And so if we want to change, we want to change the ownership, change ownership to user 20 and owning group to DevOps on D1. So for D, for directories, you use the dash uppercase R. You're going to do user 20 and then DevOps. Then you apply it to Dear one, so that's done, and you can verify by using this command here. So you have a uh, user twenty, and then DevOps it's uh, it, 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 it interchangeable because of the group ID here, but but the concept is what I'm sharing here, and and that I believe concludes our demo here 
and and again my name is Emmanuel and my plan was just to make this video to give you a taste of uh, the, the, the the class sessions that we, we we offer here and this is the field so we have a lot of people join and we do it on zoom of course but everything looks like what you see here and it's very interactive our next class uh, this year i'm talking about uh, 2023 will begin on september 8th and we meet every saturday from 9 to 12 and sometimes we go up to 1 p.m central time and make sure that you go and check out this stuff here it's gonna change your life it is going to change your life you become a linux administrator linux engineer i prepare you on how to write your resume and how to apply for uh, uh, to apply for a job i'm gonna walk with you and we will do it together every step along the way until when you get your dream it job so that, so that you can receive more and to give more and make a bigger impact in your family in your community and around the world so thank you thank you so much god bless and i'll see you in the next video